The grace and love of our Lord and Savior be with us always. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is our gospel reading for this past Sunday from Pentecost Sunday from John chapter 14 verses 25 to 27. We're especially looking at verse 27 where Jesus said to the disciples, All this I have spoken while still with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be afraid, troubled, and do not be afraid. My dear friends in Christ, Earlier in the chapter of our reading for today, a reading which is from, remember it's Maundy Thursday evening, it's the night before Jesus was crucified, he was going to be arrested, betrayed this night. Well, on that night, Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled, trust in God, trust also in me. The disciples really needed that word of encouragement from Jesus because of everything that was going on. Jesus had predicted his suffering and death, and the disciples knew that Jesus' enemies were out to get him, and they had to be worried and concerned and wondering just what was going to end up happening to Jesus and what could possibly happen to them as well. But instead of worrying, what Jesus did is he said, trust in God, trust in Jesus. Don't worry, trust in God, trust in Jesus. And to further explain why they didn't need to worry or be afraid, Jesus continues in our reading by saying, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Oh, all of us would love it if we lived in a world that had perfect peace, if no problems or troubles were around us. But the fact of the matter is, is that we live in a sinful, sin-troubled world. And there's going to be violence and terrorism and racial tension. But what Jesus wants us to realize is that even if there is that violence and wars and rumors of wars, he gives us something that we really need, and that is his peace. His peace, which means that even if there are senseless shootings, and if there'd be another September 11th, and if there are people involved in or die in war. Well, really what's always the case is that those people who are affected by those things, they don't have to be troubled, they don't have to worry when they have Jesus as their Savior. When they know that Jesus lived and died for them and paid for all of their sins. Some pretty terrible things can and probably will happen in this sin-troubled, sin-filled world. But we who by the grace of God believe in Jesus as our Savior, well, we have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And what we can do is we can join Martin Luther in the words of his hymn when he says, Though devils all the world should fill, all eager to devour us, we tremble not, we fear no ill, they shall not overpower us. This world's prince may still scowl fierce as he will, he can harm us none, he's judged the deed is done, one little word can fell him. We have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. There were two young boys who wandered off away from their home, and their home was next to this dense forest. 
Well, they walked off into that forest and as it got dark, what happened is that they got lost and they got confused and they just didn't know which way to go. And well, when they were gone for a good long time, their parents and others went searching for them and, and they searched for those two young boys all through the night and into the next morning. And then finally, they found those two young boys and relieved that they finally found those two young boys. They, they asked what they had done when they realized that they were lost and that they couldn't find their way home. Well, the older of the two boys, he said, when it got dark, I kneeled down and asked God to take care of Jimmy and me. Then we went to sleep. That's the kind of confidence that we who by the grace of God believe in Jesus, that's the kind of confidence that we can always have because we have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. By God's grace, Jesus and the Father are living within us and the Holy Spirit, he keeps coming to us through the gospel and word and sacrament to bless us, to assure us that we have this peace of God that surpasses all understanding that guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And Jesus, he will take care of us. His death and his resurrection, that proves it for us. So why should we be afraid why should we be worried? We can trust in Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, as we live in this sinful, sin-troubled world, there are many bad things that could happen to us and the ones we love. Help us always to remember that we don't have to worry or be afraid because we trust in you. And we have the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Keep sending us your Holy Spirit to build up and strengthen our faith in you so we know we have nothing to fear. And we have that because you lived and died for us and paid for all our sins. Your resurrection again proves that we have nothing to be worried about. Help us always to trust in you and never be afraid. We pray in your name. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. <laughs>